All right, I'm down here on my little boat to take out the existing batteries. I've got two trolling motors on this little boat and I'm running them both off a bank of two batteries, each 100 amp hours. So these are lithium time 100 amp hour minis. They're a little smaller than the typical size and they're pretty doggone light. They fit perfect in this little boat. And if you haven't seen the videos of me transforming this little aluminum rowboat into this really plush bass fishing platform, then you need to check out the videos. I'll put a playlist right up here above me somewhere. So I've been using these for a few months now and they turn out to be a little more power than I really need. I hardly use maybe 10% of the power these things have any time I go out on the lake. So I'm gonna replace these with a single battery, but with an upgrade. Let's go back to the shop and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is Lithium Time's new 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and it's their smart version. And that's gonna be special for fishermen like me and I'll show you why. And like all these lithium batteries, they're really light or at least lighter than the old lead ones. So this is gonna be my new trolling motor battery for my little lake boat, Illumina. And we'll go down there in a minute to install it. But first, let me tell you why I'm excited about this. One of the complicating factors for simple setups in a canoe, a kayak, or a small boat is that if you wanna know what state of charge your battery's in, you have to have an external battery monitor with a shunt. And those devices are a little bit complicated to install and they're not cheap. Typically a good one will run you a couple hundred dollars. Cheap one, you can get under a hundred bucks, but they don't do much and aren't really worth it. Be honest with you, I've tried it. So the value in having a smart battery is that this thing is Bluetooth linkable to your phone through an app. And I'll show you how you do that in a minute, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. First, let's just talk basics here. The real value in lithium iron phosphate is that it has a really high energy density compared to most other styles of batteries. You get a lot of juice in a small package and relatively lightweight. Now, selecting a battery for your use, you might wanna prioritize something other than having the smart feature. But if you're like me and you're operating a small vessel and you're relying on being able to troll with your little trolling motor and knowing how much capacity you have and how much distance you can cover, this is a great way to go. This particular battery is 12 volt, 100 amp hour, and it is rated as, as a group 24. Now, since I've made other videos about lithium batteries, I have had a bunch of questions about grouping, what grouping to, to buy. And honestly, the best way to select a lithium ion battery is to first know what your energy needs are. Remember, these are not meant to start a motor. This has a limit of about 100 amps steady output, and most large boat motors will take a lot more juice than that. And these are really not designed to put out large packages of energy in short periods of time like a starting motor needs. These are designed to put out a lot of energy over a long period of time and be able to stay in peak performance, even after being depleted to really low charge states, which is something that lead acid can't handle. A battery like this will last you years because it can handle about 5,000 cycles, which is much more than probably anybody watching this will ever put any battery through. Imagine taking 5,000 fishing trips. When would you find the time? So before I can actually get any data out of this battery, I need to upload the app. I'll go ahead and just scan the code and it gives me the web address. Now I can go ahead and just upload that app, go through the process of getting the access code, put in my information and a password, and we're pretty much set up pretty quickly. That only took me eh, a few minutes. I screwed up a couple times, but I got it. So now I'll just bring up the app and connect to Bluetooth and then I just find the battery and it's the only one that's there. So I just click on that. And now I can look at the state of charge, which is 49%. And it also shows me anything that's actually happening in the battery. So if there's any power or current going in or out, it shows the voltage state and then the capacity. It's showing 51 amp hours. And you can check uh, whether the cells are balanced and it'll give you a little graphic, whether it's balanced or not. It just says it is balanced, check the state of the cells, make sure all the cells are good and it checks the BMS, which is the, the battery monitoring system, which is built in. It's essentially a small computer 
that controls the battery output and input. It shuts it down if it overloads, short circuits, gets too hot or gets too cold. So if you exceed what this battery can handle putting out, which is right around 100 amps, it'll actually shut itself down. Now, most of the uh, tests that I've seen done, the actual cutoff ends up being about 120 amps. But that's another reason why I ended up getting lithium time batteries, because every one that I've seen tested by folks who are set up with the proper electronic gear to test these things have shown that they actually test a little higher than they're rated. So they tend to test around 103, 105 amp hours in actual true capacity. And then all the limiting criteria that the BMS actually controls always exceeds a little bit what the manufacturer says it actually can handle. And the price, given what you're getting, it's pretty reasonable. A lot of you guys have been able to take advantage of the discount code that I put in the description of the past couple of battery videos that I've done. And I think that code is still good. I'm not sure. I'll double check. And if there's a new one I can give you, I'll put it down there. But I will definitely give you a link to Lithium Time because I know in this coming week, they're going to be starting a big promotion for this battery and a couple of other new batteries that they have. And apparently they're going to have some pretty good discounts and maybe even give you an additional discount on mine. No guarantees, but maybe. So next step is to put this thing on a charger and get it up to 100%. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing to charge. And Lithium Time always supplies these nice stainless steel terminal bolts, and they come with little protective color-coded caps too. And we'll connect our charger, and I'm gonna go ahead and set it to charge at 25 amps. All right, so now let's take a look at what our Bluetooth dashboard is telling us. And I'm hoping you can see that. So we're pumping in 324, 325 watts the current is 24.1 amps. We're charging at 13.5 volts and it should be a little higher than that. I probably didn't set the charger correctly for lithium batteries. Should be charging at about 14.2 to 14.4 volts. And that's why you wanna use a battery charger that's ready for lithium. So you get that full capacity. It's not gonna damage the battery. It just won't give me my full capacity. And it's showing 51% capacity right now, which that's about right. So when we go down and connect this to the boat and we put this on, we'll be able to see the draw on the battery and see how much of a load our trolling motor puts on it. And then you can kind of get a feel for how long we can actually run it and how far we can go. And you don't actually realize how handy this information is until you actually have it. Check it out. It's telling me it's charging, the state of the charge. And below it, I'm not sure you can see it, but it actually says estimated 1.27 hours to full charge. That is really handy information. It tells me I can do a long lunch, and when I get back, this thing will be fully charged. All right, my uh, long lunch turned into an all-day affair. It's now the next day, but a beautiful day. Another really crisp, sunny day here in North Florida. All right, I already installed the battery right here. So you can see it right here. On the other side, where my other battery would go, it's empty, just so you know. And there's my uh, charger, it's set to lithium. You can see right there. And it's showing completely full. Let's see what the battery says. We'll link up with the battery, see if it agrees with the charger. It's still showing at 99%, but I am showing that I've got 103.7 amp hour capacity. That sounds like a little over 100%. And it looks like we're not getting any charging current in the charger. So I think we're ready to go. So my plan is to go ahead and Get out there on the lake, we'll put some rods out, we'll troll, I'll monitor the battery with the app, and I also have my amp meter that I can put on the wire, and we'll see what the meter says, what the lithium time app says, and this way we can take a look at and see what the energy draw is, and kind of estimate how long we can stay out there trolling. See if we can't pick up some uh, speckled perch. And I'm just using some small, soft plastic minnows. All right, so before we get going, actually trolling, let's go ahead and clip on our meter. And it's showing some a very low amperage, just sitting there, 0.66. And I'll go ahead and put it first gear. So this is speed one, it's 7.16. It's showing a negative 7.3. Bump it up to the next speed. Our meter says 8.38 and the battery's telling us 8.6. The next speed, which is 
speed three, giving us, let's see, it's 16, right about 16. And here it's showing 15.7. So the other thing I can do is I can take a look at my little GPS app on my phone and see how fast I'm actually going and how long it'll take me to get back somewhere. And using the hours of capacity that I have, I can really look at and get a really good idea of how far I can actually travel. So this really pulls all this information together. And while I'm not gonna be doing it constantly, it is a nice thing to be able to do while you're getting to the end of the day or maybe getting started and kind of planning how far, how long you're gonna fish. As it figures out how much of an amp draw you're actually using, it tells you right down here in this little line on the bottom that we have 7.31 hours of remaining usage. That is nice, no math needed. So I've gone ahead and put this thing on full speed. Let's see what we're drawing. Right at 39 amps, and it drops our remaining hours to 2.6 hours. So I could run this thing at full blast 2.6 hours right now. That's pretty impressive. All right, we're hooked up. Let's see if it's a little speck. Yep. It's a little small for a keeper. I wasn't gonna keep them anyway. All right, I am really pleased with this. It's really living up to my expectations. You know, most of the marketing for lithium batteries has been for sort of backup battery systems for people's homes, RVs, their main battery systems, long range cruisers on sailboats and powerboats. But really they're just now starting to think about fishermen and trolling motors. And when they sent me this, they asked me, could you please review this as a trolling motor battery? And they asked for any input that I might have as a fisherman. And I do have a couple of suggestions and maybe they'll implement them, who knows? Either way, it's pretty good the way it is. Now it's just a matter of seeing how I can finagle to get a couple more for my flats boat, which by the way, just an update on the tank I had to remove from the boat. I did get another tank. It's almost the same size, but it needed a couple of changes to some of the fittings, so I sent it to an aluminum shop. And when I get that back, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully, we'll get that boat back going again, and we'll be able to take some of these recent lures out to the Gulf of Mexico and terrorize the fish a bit. All right, thank you everybody for watching. If you like this kind of content, let me know. Get, leave me a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're in the market for one of these, Lithium Time is really getting super competitive with their price. Check them out. I'll leave the link in the description and any other information that might be helpful to you. I'll see you guys on the next video.